What's going on, everybody? I am currently at Fantastic Fest in Austin, Texas. So I apologize for the sound quality and the not as good as usual video quality. I'm using my cell phone to make this video. I couldn't take any of my equipment with me on the plane. And I wanted to make sure that I got a few videos out for you guys while I'm in Fantastic Fests. Also, the air conditioning has to be on throughout this video. It's like 99 degrees today. So if there's some annoying background noise, I also apologize for that. But let's talk about The Menu, a film that I got to see at Fantastic Fests a couple days ago. The director, Mark Milag, was there, and he gave a great Q&A. And this was one that I honestly could not wait to talk about. So a bunch of self-professed food lovers, as well as food critics, and even an actor who really loves food, are all invited to an exclusive island where one of the most famous chefs ever, played by Ray Fiennes, is going to prepare for them a special meal to be even considered, let alone invited, let alone serve food by this man as one of the greatest privileges that anyone could ever receive. But once the courses begin to reveal themselves, the guests realize that they are part of a very disturbing meal plan. First and foremost, the menu is a satire, not just of things like class, but of food and chefs in general, of people who write about food, of people who believe that they could be great chefs, but probably not. Essentially, it takes shots at just about everyone that's involved in the food industry. The best thing about the menu is that you can replace the food industry with just about anything else. If you wanted to look at it from the perspective of the film industry, he's invited a bunch of film critics or film bloggers to the island, and he's going to try to show them what it's like to really make a movie. You can look at it from that perspective, too. The film offers so many different ways to engage with it on an intellectual level, but it's also extremely funny especially for a film that is as scary as it becomes. And at the QAU, Mark Milag talked a lot about the fact that the actors improvised many of their lines. A large portion of the movie takes place inside of this restaurant area, and so there's many sequences where actors are just eating food and trying to come up with something really smart to say about it, especially Nicholas Holt, who's excellent in the film as the resident foodie who has studied food knows everything about food, but couldn't fry an egg to save his life. And these sequences are filled with a lot of improvisation, according to the director, especially John Leguizamo, who's really fucking good in this movie, as well as Anya Taylor-Joy, who's our lead and the person we follow. She knows nothing about food, and so things get explained to her a lot. It's a very good storytelling device for the audience, for relaying exposition and information. But you also side with her because everyone else there is so elitist and just so far up the ladder that you can't connect with them, but you stay in her shoes. So you have an emotional connection with what's going on. Ray Fiennes is fucking incredible in this movie. He's so intimidating. He's meant to be. I mean, everyone says yes, chef to everything he says, almost in unison like the board. And every time he appears before his customers and claps, it's just as effective as any jump scare I've seen in a horror film. And I'll also say that a lot of people seem to think this movie is about one specific area of horror. And just in case you don't, I won't say what it is. But people after the film at Fantastic Fest who had skipped it to see something else were like, I didn't want to see a movie like this. And I was like, oh, no, no, that's not what it is. It's completely different from what I thought it was going to be. And I think most audience members are going to be surprised by the direction this film takes. The performances are all incredible. Ralph Fiennes. I do think is awards worthy. And my theater laughed constantly. It became very infectious after a while, and everyone really seemed to get it. So try to see it on opening weekend, not just because it's a good movie, 
but because I would love to see films like this get supported. This is not your stereotypical horror comedy. I wouldn't even really describe it in those terms. And for that reason, I'm just glad that the movie exists and that so many big stars wanted to be involved with it. I thought Mark Myla did great. All the cast is really good. It's one of my favorite movies of the festival and of the year so far. So definitely check it out when it comes out. Thank you guys as always for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon. And if you like this, you can click right here.